Welcome to Systec Controls in Puchheim. My name is Oliver Betz. I want to show you today how easy clamp-on flow metering is nowadays working. The reputation of clamp-on flow meters is that they are rather complicated in the use and that they are very expensive. I don't think this is the truth for our product, the Delta Wave C. I want to show you today how easy it is to operate and how cost-effective nowadays a flow meter can be. Here you see a complete carry case for a portable flow meter. If you open it in the lower part of the carry case you will find the electronics of the main flow meter together with the various transducers. We have here the 1 MHz, the 2 MHz and the 0.5 MHz transducers for various pipes, the mounting material, the index uh, liner. Um, and in the upper, upper part of the carry case you find the uh, optional wall thickness gauge, the temperature sensors for optional heat measurement, the output cables for analog and digital outputs, uh, the power supply, a liner, uh, the, um, the coupling compound and the uh, cabling for the transducers. Altogether in the carry case is just very lightweight, approximately 5 kilos, so good for traveling. First of all you have to start up the flow meter, just press the on button. The system is then um, passing a short uh, test um, and after the test uh, the system will go into the measurement mode. Now currently no transducers are connected to the flow meter, you can see it very easily on the upper status bar. Uh, you can see no signal and uh, the sonic velocity and the signal quality is zero, so currently the flow meter cannot do any measurement because nothing is connected to the flow meter. So before we have the possibility to measure anything, we will have to set up the flow meter. You see on the left side, uh, the top button is the setup button which we press and we come in the setup menu. There is two types of setups. We have the complete setup which is the top left button. Uh, behind the complete setup there is all the options uh, you probably want to set up at a flow meter such as analog outputs and uh, digital outputs and data locking and things like that. Uh, but if you just want to set up the flow meter to indicate the flow on the uh, display then the quick setup button is good enough. So this quick setup will guide you uh, by some questions through the necessary um, setup points uh, which you will have to enter to, to get a flow reading on the menu. So let's go into this quick setup menu. Now Delta Wave will guide you step by step through the necessary enterings which are needed to have a flow meter, flow metering. Uh, on the top of the display you will find a status menu which gives you an idea about what you have to enter in the main window, so which is the lower uh, three quarters of the window, you will have to do your enterings. So in the first step uh, the flow meter is asking you for the outside diameter of the pipe or for the circumfer circumference. For smaller diameters use a caliper, for bigger diameters you might measure the circumference with a liner. Our pipe has a diameter of 90.4 mm. Uh, the entering can be done very easy with the four keys, two arrow keys and the plus and the minus key. Uh, with the arrow key you might uh, change the position of the, uh, of the cursor and with the plus and minus you do the uh, change of the numeric values. So the next parameter you have to enter is the wall thickness. The wall thickness is also a very important parameter because it's needed to calculate the inside diameter of the pipe. So uh, if you don't have the exact dimensions of your pipe wall thickness, uh, we urgently recommend that you use our optional wall thickness gauge you can easily measure the wall thickness. In our case the pipe diameter is 2.4 mm. Once more we are taking the plus and the minus and the two arrow keys to enter the correct wall thickness. In the next step Delta Wave is asking for the pipe wall material. Uh, there is two possibilities. You can either do manually enterings or you can select one pipe material from the database. 
DataWave has a pretty big database and most of the materials, common materials are stored in there. Carbon steel, stainless steel, coppers, various plastics, uh, ductile steel. So select one which you believe is closest to your pipe. This is usually good enough uh, for the measurement. Uh, in our case it's stainless steel. We are selecting stainless steel. Next question from the flow meter is the question for the liner. If you are using a liner in your pipe, uh, most pipes don't have a liner, but some of them might have a plastic liner or whatever. We don't have a liner, so we select just no here in this question. And last but not least, the flow meter is asking for the fluid. Delta Wave has an integrated database with various fluids such as water, water glycol, various oils, benzene, and so on. Uh, just select the fluid which you believe is close to your fluid. It's not necessarily important that your exact fluid is stored in Delta Wave um, because Delta Wave is actually measuring the sonic velocity of the fluid and if you do a mistake or your fluid is not exactly the fluid you selected uh, it will do an automatic compensation. So we have selected water and in the next step we have to select our transducer. Um, there's three standard transducers available, the 2 MHz transducer which is going from half inch pipes up to 4 inch pipes, the 1 MHz transducer from 1.5 inch up to 400 mm, and last but not least the 500 kHz uh, transducer from 8 inch up to 6 meters diameter. So in our case we have an 80 mm pipe, so this fits well to the 1 MHz transducer. Last but not least, we have to select the way we want to mount the transducers. There's two ways, V-mode, Z-mode and W-mode, uh, which might symbolize uh, the way the ultrasonic path is going through your pipe. V-mode v -mode means one reflection, so the path is like a V. It's, uh, uh, both transducers are on one side of the pipe and the path has the shape of a V. Z-mode means that there is just a single path passing through the pipe and w -mode uh, mode means two reflections, so both transducers are once more on one side of the pipe and they are, uh, and the path is shaped like a W. So for pipes uh, below uh, 50 millimeters, two inches, W mode might be beneficial, but for bigger pipes, the standard, uh, the standard mounting type is V mode, so we are selecting V mode for our three inch pipe, which is very good here. As a result of this, the flow meter shows us the position of the transducers. So in our case, uh, the flow meter uh, shows us uh, index, uh, index 4. We have always a couple of transducers. You see on the front page an arrow with the flow direction and on the back, pipe, uh, back side of the transducers you can see how they shall be mounted. So uh, the flow meter is displaying us index number 4. Um, this is very easy to, to mount with the spacer bar. We are using the spacer bar and mount the first transducer. Uh, you can see here with the first transducer the index is zero, so we mount with the screw here the transducer uh, and the arrow is showing on index number zero. Now we have to count up to four, zero, one, two, three, four, and here we uh, need to uh, put the second transducer in position 4, so once more a screw to fix anything very tight together, index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, index 4, we have to mount the second transducer, very easy. With the ruler you might also control the distance of the transducer over these two points, uh, this is in our case 78 millimeters, you might check this with the ruler. So here we have the transducers mounted with, together with the spacer bar, now we have to mount the transducers on the pipe. I'm using a little bit of the coupling compound. I just use very little in the middle of the transducers, uh, so a line of two or three centimeters. Very little of the compound is good enough uh, to give the acoustic uh, coupling to the pipe. So uh, the transducers uh, with the two screws, they are uh, inside of the transducer housing and they can be very easily placed on the pipe now. We are taking the chains with, uh, together with the springs, uh, doing the chain uh, around the pipe and fix it on the other side of the housing. 
So the same procedure with the second uh, chain with the spring. This can be very easily done by a single person, so no second person is needed. So on the top of the transducer, uh, transducer housing there is a small screw. With this screw you can now um, uh, firmly um, um, press the transducer on the pipe wall. You don't need to use a lot of force there, but check that the transducer surface is uh, flat and very nice on the pipe. Uh, the last step is that you connect the transducers with the flow meter. There is uh, two cables, one upstream, one downstream cable. Don't worry, if you mix up the cables, you will have a negative reading on the flow meter, but this is the only thing, so um, if, you, if you mismatch the cables, this, that's no big deal. Uh, just uh, you, you can uh, easily change them after the installation. So since the measurement is bi-directional, you cannot make any fault. Just change the cables after the installation and you will have a positive sign in front of your flow meter. No big deal. So we are almost ready now. So the only thing we have to do is to connect the cables with the flow meter on the back side, back side of the housing. Uh, with the BNC cables. Um, if you have the possibility to do a zero offset calibration, this is uh, recommended. So if you have the possibility to shut down your pipe, please shut down the pipe and press the zero setting key uh, and within five seconds the flow meter will do a zero calibration. This improves the accuracy in particular for low flow velocities. Uh, after five seconds of integration you have to confirm the value and then everything is ready for measurement. And with this we are already uh, have completely set up our flow meter. You can see here a very nice reading uh, in comparison with the MAG meter. Beside the flow you can also measure the heat just by connecting to PT100. You get diagnostic data like sonic velocity of the fluid. So you see this was really easy and a fast task which can be done by really everybody, also by you. Thank you for your interest. We are looking forward to hear from you. If you have any questions or requirements, do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you and bye-bye.